Michael Vosbein back with another surprise guest who I just happened to see walking around here. A Nashville legend, Greg Morrow. How are you, my I'm friend? I'm fine, Michael. How are you doing? It's been a long time. It has. You know, you used to come down to uh, see us whenever you could from the, uh, when we had the Civil Cup. Yes, we're always absolutely. Happy to see you. You, but, were, uh, you were always very good to me to allow me to uh, pilfer your wares. Well, we're proud you were playing our stuff, man. <laughs> I mean, you're a Nashville legend. Are you still busy, busy, busy these days? Is I'm sorry? Back? Is the business coming back? Uh, well, in, in in a new form, uh, yeah. I, I think, acor according to the union people, uh, the, the uh, 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 numbers, meaning the dollars behind the contracts that they filed has been up, and... Uh, uh, so they're real happy about that, but it's it's taking on uh, new avenues. Uh, it's not just going to the studio anymore and uh, uh, and count some off and going. You know, there, there's a there's a a lot of work from home stuff that actually can be uh, can be carded if you want to do that, and uh, uh, live stuff and trust fund gigs. That's just uh, there's a lot of avenues now uh, for for people and and and. Just the way records are being made these days is radically different than it was 10 years ago. What's the biggest difference? Um, much more fragmented uh, performances. In other words, uh, a guy may start in a, in a uh, writer room with a, with a track, you know, a track guy building something. Then they may add an element here and an element there. And then at some point they may decide, well, we want real drums on this. So then they'll do that. So it's not necessarily an all at one time thing anymore. Right. So right. a lot of that that kind of stuff. Fewer what they used to call master dates, I guess. Fewer what they used to call master sessions, where uh, everybody's in the same room and you bike well, them up and roll. I mean that still ha that still happens. That still happens, but but you know it's um, it's not exclusive like it used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how many million albums are you on anyway? An embarrassing. I think at last count it was like sixteen and a half, not million, just sixteen and a half. No, no, I, 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 I really don't know. I, I, I mean, I mean, uh, folks, it's like forty, fifty, sixty million records he's on. Uh, if you count, you know, record sales, record stuff, units. Well, stuff it, you're it, on. it could be, it could be some uh, somewhere around there. I know I've been, I was fortunate that you know three or four of them make up a good part of that. A lot of big numbers. <laughs> yeah, a lot of big numbers. So, are you but touring anymore? Uh, well, yeah. What I, you I doing? I, I, uh, I've been doing, uh, uh, the last few years, I, I kind of did a bunch of stuff with Joe Bonamassa, and right before that, uh, uh, Bob Seeger. And then uh, currently, uh, this year, I've been working a lot with Brooks and Dunn. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. It's really fun. I've known, I've known everybody in the band, some of them even, even before I moved here, I knew. Uh, but uh, uh, exclusively, everybody in that band I've known at least for twenty years, so it's it's not a strange you like know, a family. Yeah, it is. So it is. you say uh, you move. You're a southern boy at heart. I know. I am. Where, I'm from, where Memphis. from? Yeah, Memphis. Memphis. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is there a southern drumming thing? If I said play it a little more southern, what well, would that mean? If you said what? Play that track. That's great, Greg. But play it a little more southern. Well, you could equate. I don't know what it means. I'm asking it to you. a certain amount of sleaze, I guess. <laughs> no, I, I think, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know if it's exclusively southern as much as it's just a, a mindset, but I guess it it does relate more down here than everything. Just everything uh, a little on the dark side, mm -hmm. uh, and not being in a hurry, right? And uh, and and just not uh, not necessarily uh, making it all about the drums all the time. You know, it's. You know, now what do you think about, about the whole picture? About the, this, the last few years, especially because of uh, the, the the pandemic, everybody was playing at home and putting YouTube's out, and it led to a lot of great drumming with some fantastic chops, but not maybe the most musicality. Is that in the nature of just us playing by ourselves? Well, I think it is, I, and and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Right, it is certainly a different venue. It wasn't a dig. Yeah, it wasn't a gig, and and there. No, I'm in a dig. It wasn't a dig. I wasn't making. I wasn't criticizing. Oh, it wasn't a dig. Yeah. yeah. But but also it wasn't a gig either. <laughs> right. and, and and you know that doesn't translate. That that whole bag really doesn't translate uh, to to ensemble playing. 
Right. So it's a different thing, and there's nothing wrong with either of them, you know. Um, and you're right, there are some pretty dang impressive oh, yeah. outings on there, but. Oh, yeah. You know, you, you just have to keep it all in perspective. Is there a Nashville drum sound? Well, these days, it's all-encompassing. Right. There's, there's, there's nothing in the way of uh, drumming and style and sonics that you can't do here. I mean, all the way from big cavernous, bonomesque, this, that, or the other, to, you know, really dry, you know, early 70s funk, fat back stuff. Right. I mean, Everybody here is very schooled in how to how to get those tones, and then they hand it off to the engineer to dial it in. And you know, it, this this city is amazingly broad stylistically. It's it's just not what people typecast it as. Right. There's nothing you can't do here or find here, you know, really. So you have, uh, if I said, bring me any sounds you want, I want you to track for me. You would. Would you want to hear the music first? Do you have a Greg Morrow sound in mind? Um, uh, what would well, you think I, about I mean, that? I, I, I said, I, I, I need you on a date. I'm not sure what it's going to be. You just come and be you. I, well, I'm always, I'm always going to cast sonically to, to what I think the rest of the music bed needs. Mm -hmm. I'm always going to cast that. That's right. just part of your responsibility as a participant. You know, I mean, I, yes, at home I do keep, you know, a basic setup going of, of just tones that I think work on a lot of things um, so yeah but but it's always going to be dialed in that last little percentile to make it fit what I'm supposed to be doing. Do you ever work with samples? No. Good. <laughs> I'm glad I mean I, I have a drummy for a sample package. Yeah. Well I'm proud of but I, I it's not my deal. It's not my no thing. I don't. I, I, I don't I, begrudge anybody that does that's not my bag and and I and if, if you know that's just for someone else to do that's not for me i like hearing that there's a lot of music out there and some of it's just not for you whomever you are oh you yeah, know? yeah it's okay it's to say man that's great but it's not my thing yeah yeah and i would hate i would i would hate to waste someone's money and time you know i'm sure it wouldn't be <laughs> wouldn't be wasted <laughs> you never know you know the stories about Jeff Percaro would be in the session and he'd say you know this is not really you need Jim Keltner call Jim hey Jim get up here I, I, nobody I have, does that well I have done that have you really I have done it but I haven't said call Keltner <laughs> just because he ain't here he ain't but here. no I definitely uh, and I don't know if it was I was actually on a session but had been called for a session and once we do, were discussing what it is they wanted to do I, I would say if I honestly felt that way I would say you know what man there's this guy named X that he's going to do a way better job at this than I am because this is just, this is not my forte and I don't want to waste it. Well, that's a super pro to say that. You know, well, it takes just, your ego right out of it, man. That's just honest. You and know. You're just serving the music. <laughs> Even if that means somebody else serves it. <laughs> that's right. No, you just, yeah. That's, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's wise for me to put myself in, in, the, in, in situations that I'm not going to deliver, you know. It doesn't help anybody. Well, I, I doubt that you ever have. <laughs> I really appreciate you stopping by. Oh, thanks, Anything Martin. else on your mind? Uh, no, not really. Have you been to the show before? Oh, yeah, yeah. I this think is my I've, first time. It's I've really been a good here, show. Uh, most every year I come. If, I, if I'm in town, you know, most every year. And, yeah, it's growing. It grew by about a third this year. That's what they're telling. And uh, it's really kind of becoming its own little mini drum nam. And, well, uh, NAM is kind of a dead man walking these days. Well, it, it is, um, and and it's good that uh, these people have been very proactive and and mm -hmm. uh, and dialing in the companies. But I think I think the drum companies in general were feeling a little bit, uh, uh, you know, left out in in the NAM grand scheme of things. They you know their presence was being diminished, and I don't think they felt appreciated and all that. So. They're they're among their people here, <laughs> right? And this is more about drummers. Oh, it's you totally know, Nam not. is. I, I I would remind people who really wanted to go to Nam, it's it's a dealer convention, man. And well, it's turned into a meet and greet for dealers, artists, and manufacturers. It's not for the public, right? Yeah. Well, it never was for the public. Right. But this is this is for yeah. drummers. And yeah. It's a room full of drummers. 
it is a room full of drummers. And I think eventually what what I think they may hope happens, and, and I would hope it, that the two can coexist, is that shops, you know, drum shops and dealers will you will use this as their name to to, uh, to write orders with with all these great manufacturers that are here, you know, and and do business, and and do it in a much more specialized arena for for what they sell. You know, I hear what you're saying because the whole industry is being reinvented. Yeah, it is. Do you have any idea where the whole thing's going? Do I you? sure don't. No, gosh, no. <laughs> Well, if you don't, I don't feel so bad. No. As long <laughs> as it's forward, we're good. That's right. And we'll keep playing drums. <laughs> yes, absolutely. One of the best, Greg Morrow. Uh, thank you, Michael. Thank I you, my friend. I much. sure appreciate you, you and all you do. Bye-bye.